Um, we've often talked on this show about the impact of all these kind of net zero climate uh, policies that are being inflicted upon us by governments here and around the world. A story that hasn't got much attention is what is, has been happening in Holland because of EU climate policies. James? So, massive protests going on here in the Netherlands right now, where Dutch farmers are protesting against rules that would limit carbon and nitrogen emissions out of their farms. Massive, massive protests. They're blocking highways. They're blocking traffic. Um, I've seen them even spraying manure on government offices here in some of the clips, which I don't think we'll show you this morning. But there's a real big point to this. Net zero is really going to hurt. And do not let anybody tell you otherwise. We have this whole big idea that here in Australia, we can just, you know, slide on over to net zero and everything will be fine. It doesn't work that way because once you start really doing it, you're talking about cutting down agriculture. You're talking about how are you going to feed people? Already just last month, I just checked 9.9% inflation last month in that country um, and largely as a result of these green policies, net zero and, of course, you know, all the troubles that they're having in Europe at the moment. But we in Australia must not allow ourselves to imagine that this sort of thing cannot happen here, will not be imposed upon us here as we go for net zero, or that this will somehow be painless. There is a lot of pain, and frankly, I really fear that we are only just beginning to see the tip of it. And I yeah, think it's we'll a real memo for Australian policymakers to change course now before we hit the iceberg. Well, Rita, what is so completely mad about this is that the EU have arbitrarily decided, oh, you can't have more than 30% of nitrogen or something ammonia in the soil. Mm -hmm. And it's all these small... In, it's always the small business people, mm -hmm. the mum and dad farmers, it's all these small plots, mm -hmm. these farmers, traditional. Holland has relied on this forever. They want to wipe them out. So they've said, oh, all of you, you've got too much nitrogen in your soil, so we're coming, the government comes, shuts down your farm. So, I mean, this is just insane. But as James says, Rita, this is the future for Australia. We talk about electric vehicles and those idiots in, in Wentworth and Warringah and all the rest going on about their electric cars. The reality is they're going to come after your farming land. That's what they're going to do. Rita. Yeah, and where are they going to get the electricity to, to charge those cars? But, but you're absolutely right. These policies come with real cost, real pain, and it's something that we just do not yet appreciate in this country. We're still being sold the fantasy that transitioning to net zero is going to be great for the economy and it's going to bring down energy costs and it's going to be much cheaper for people to warm their homes, it'll be cheaper for industry, it'll be better for farmers and we have not really had some transparency and honesty about what the cost of this green agenda is uh, and, and we'll get it and I think it's going to hit us hard. Exactly.